Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Boy. Today we'll be using some more of this Hobart 186013. We'll be welding corner joints and lap joints. So last time when we were welding with this welder, we were welding with 332nd rods, which I run at about 90 amps. <clears throat> you can tell that's why I have it at, because I got it the first setting, which maxes out at 90, and I've got it set to 10. Now, for 1 8 rods, I prefer to run those between 120 and 135. So I'm going to set that to, so I'm going to put in the 145 setting. And put that around 6.5 to 7 for a starting amperage. We're going to fine tune it from there. So this here is a practice plate we brought it up in the last video for T-joints. So now we're going to come back and do a lap joint and a corner joint along the bottom. So, if we're doing lap joints and corner joints, we want to go with that same about a 45 degree angle with about a 20 degree drag. I'm going to drag it to the edge and then we're going to change our angle as we drag it around. And keep that 20 degree drag angle with the 45 degree rod angle. And we're going to come down to about the middle. Then after we do that, we're going to show a restart on the lap joint. And we're going to come back around on this corner. So let me get the water fired up, get in position. So let's see how it came out. Clean up with a wire wheel. It looks pretty good. Now to restrike the rod. We'll start about here, light it up, and loop back into the weld. So let me get the slab chipped and wire wheeled. Now that's how you do lap joints and corner joints. Okay, now on this lap joint, we don't have any corner joints on it, but I can still do a lap joint and show you how it's done on this side. So I'm gonna put the lens in front of the camera, get the welder fired up, and we're gonna start welding. <laughs>
So let's chip this slag off of here. Hit it with a wire wheel. We got a little bit of undercut right in here, but for a quarter inch plate with eighth inch rods, it isn't that bad. It looks to be within a 32nd of an inch. I'm gonna look at it from the side. So that's within acceptable requirements. That's it for this video, but if you like this video and would like to see more like it, please like, comment, subscribe, and click that little bell icon so you get notified of our future videos. Until next time, folks, keep on welding.